You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 30 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about some bad wrestling. Yeah. Well, <laughs> All bad, right, it's not the wrestling. Bad that was TV. Bad. Yeah. Bad TV. Um, really bad TV. I, I don't know what they were going for this week, uh-huh. but just matches after matches and... That's about it. Very little story. Uh-huh. What they did try to do on Raw was not very good, mm-hmm. story-wise. And, um, yeah. I-, I don't really have much to say. So, going into this week, I was thinking, all right, so we already know what who's facing who at WrestleMania uh-huh. in, co- in terms of Royal Rumble competitors. So, that's not going to get touched on, especially considering both competitors are hurt right yeah i was gonna say that's another thing everyone's injured um we already know that brock lesnar won't be at elimination chamber or at fast lane Mm -hmm. so don't even bother yep um so we probably won't see him until at least seth is back wrestling yeah because we don't know how long he's going to be out for there's Mm -hmm. probably backup plans in case he can't do we even know what his injury is i don't know my guess would be some kind of lower leg or yeah. lower body injury because that's his thing. The knee. <laughs> um, the uh, SmackDown WWE Championship match was was already set. Yep. So we don't really need that. Well, for much. the chamber, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't really need that much to go on. Well, you can't set up a wrestling. No, I know. Match, Big but... old question mark there. Yeah. Um, and then tag team titles had been. Uh, no oh, contenders had been figured out. Right. So a lot of stuff was set up mm-hmm. on the Raw and SmackDown after Royal yeah. Rumble. So it's like, what in the world could they possibly do? It's true. Well, we did see something set up with the Raw Tag Team Champions. Yes. Um, I was I was really pulling for heavy machinery. Oh, I bet you were. We got it, to see another Four Corners match. This one was an elimination, though. It was not. Which is unfortunate. Yes. Because we least... need to take up more time with the Raw well, Tag Team Well, you know, division. I mean... It is what it is, mm. uh, but the revival ended up beating Heavy Machinery, uh, Lucha House Party, and the B team. I know it's a big old surprise that Ooh. those two teams didn't win. Yeah, so I guess <laughs> they're going to joke. face them in Elimination Chamber. I think that's what they Did said. They, I don't know if they I'm pretty sure made that's an what they announcement said. about that, but well, they said it was for a number one contenders match. That's so what I would they imagine. Said. Yeah, because it Elimination Chamber is like a, a week and a half Next away. Next Sunday. So, yeah, so it's not, not this like one coming up, but the one after. Yeah, 16th, I think. Yeah. So it's not like it's far away anyway, so there's only going to be one Raw between here and then. Yeah. So it doesn't make a difference. Um, So the show opens with with Becky Lynch. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no. Stephanie uh, came out. Stephanie comes out and introduces Becky Lynch or Mm -hmm. gets interrupted by her, who was going to introduce her. Yeah. I think she cut her off or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, They had to add that extra little bit in there. mm -hmm. Um, Very necessary. Stephanie thinks that Becky Lynch is hurt because she's been limping all over the place. Obviously, she is, I guess. Yeah. I think it's, it's confirmed or whatever. Pretty sure. Um, so Never know these days. Though. It's true. Um, although, there, apparently, she was selling both legs during the Rumble. I did hear that she got hit in the one knee and was selling the other knee I, or something I, I, like that. I think I noticed it during the match, but mm-hmm. I didn't really like pay that much mind to it because I, gotcha. I figured it was going to be one of those, okay, the... Like, they're going to drop it after the match anyway. Yeah. Um, Granted, when she came out, it, we knew what the end result was going yeah. to be at so that point already. It didn't matter. <laughs> um, so, Stephanie says that if you don't get cleared by a doctor, you're not going to be able to compete at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Becky Lynch says, I'm not going to any doctor, because the last time I did, they... Put they her just, on the shelf. Yeah. Um, and then... She ends up saying that she's suspended. Becky attacks her, mm-hmm. and then uh, she gets escorted out or whatever. Yeah, I think so. We had the the zebras come out and a couple other uh, backstage Security people. Or whatever. Well, Pierce was there. Yeah. And, um, um. So during she started to fight them off, but it was very yeah bad. No. Yeah. It I, like I get what they were going for, but it just didn't translate very well even the slap that she hit stephanie with was was not good Mm -hmm. um so when stephanie was talking to her she uh like seemed like she was on stephanie's side 
I mean, on Becky's side. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, they're trying to get the two of them to team together and turn Becky heel again. Mm. It's not going to work. Yeah, that's where I thought they were going against the whole Ronda thing. Because, yeah. Because they want people to cheer Ronda. Right, right. And no one's going to cheer Ronda if she's <laughs> up against Becky. Because no. I think what they were go- were hoping for was that everyone would cheer for both people. Um, I guess. And, but that that's not. That's I don't not know why happen. they bother playing that into the cards. Like. You just got to let things it's be true. the way they are. I mean, I think that it's probably affecting Rhonda more than it's affecting oh, the company. Oh, 100% in that aspect, yes. But I, I just meant with things in general. That was a big part of the Roman thing, too. Yeah, because I think that Rhonda probably only wanted to be around if she was going to get praised. So since it's not happening and yeah. she has no control over it, she's probably getting upset. Mm-hmm. So it's not necessarily the WWE not, like, wanting or trying to avoid something. They're trying to help get Ronda cheered. You know what I mean? Yes, that's true. They're, trying yeah, yeah, to, they're yeah. doing what they do with Lesnar, but in, with instead of just throwing money at him, mm-hmm. they're trying to make the crowd like her. That's probably what's yeah, going on. I guess. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, um, and then we pretty much got a very similar thing on SmackDown, which uh, you did not watch. I did not. Um, but yeah, Charlotte opens the show Mm -hmm. and she comes out and says that, you know, Becky's hurt. She deserved what happened to her last night, getting suspended because, Mm -hmm. you know, she's being herself. Mm -hmm. She says she's 100% healthy and she would like to face Ronda at Mania. Trying to steal her spotlight again. Mm -hmm. Becky ends up showing up, comes through the crowd. Her and Charlotte are in the ring. Now backstage, people are coming out at this point. Triple H's music hits. He comes out. He tells Becky to go home, tells Charlotte this has nothing to do with you, get out of the ring. And then, you know, Becky starts taunting Triple H as he's leaving the ring. Kind of similar to what Dean Ambrose did to him a couple weeks ago. He, yeah. Yeah. So do you so have I, to ask your father-in-law? Yeah, yeah. He, he, she kind of just went, oh, how's Stephanie? Did Stephanie get cleared? You know, stuff, stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, Triple H starts, you know, going on and on about, you know, being the bad guy and stuff like that in that aspect. Uh-huh. Um, and then he starts saying that this is all because Becky is afraid of failure and losing to Rhonda. She's conveniently hurt when she goes to face Rhonda at Survivor Series, and now she's conveniently hurt again when she's going to face Rhonda at WrestleMania. But and, she clearly wanted to fight both I, times. I, I get it, but he said it's, it's an act. Uh-huh. That's all he was saying. Okay. You know. So I guess it's an excuse if right. she loses? Is that what yeah, he's getting yeah, at? Yeah, 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 pretty much. That's, Basically that's, calling her a fraud. It, it, that's strange. It, was, it wasn't bad when they played it out on I TV. I know, but the concept is weird. Yeah, well. I know, I know. So, so, because they're all they're trying all they're trying to do now is replicate something that got hot in the past mm-hmm. and that's that's what they're going for. Yeah, I and guess it that's doesn't true. work. It's doesn't your translate. audience was different then. We were a bunch of kids watching it then, you know. What we got excited over then is much different than what we get excited over now. Yeah, now we're lucky if we get anything that resembles good programming. Yeah, but I mean, you know, <laughs> it's again, but then again, back then you did have a lot more adult fans, I think. Rather than like people getting into it, we're older. Mm-hmm. Rather than now, where it's mostly people that grew up with the product that are still watching it. Yeah, it's because also it was geared more towards kids now. Right, right. But uh, yeah, same result as Monday. Becky slaps Triple H and mm-hmm. then she leaves. Yep, yep. And that's where it went downhill for SmackDown. That's there. hilarious. Um, Ten minutes in, it's going downhill. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> like nothing was of bad quality Mm -hmm. it was just matches with that were inconsequential like Mm -hmm. it didn't matter like all right so i don't know if you know this but they uh announced that uh naomi and carmella is the fifth team in the elimination chamber or sixth team whatever however many teams it is i i know we theorized that they were just gonna be throwing teams Mm -hmm. together right so like, but we had a triple threat tag team match where you could have just put the stakes being, you know, or something like that. You know, if I mean, granted, the other two teams were in it already, the Iconics and um, I, Sonya think, and Mandy. I think all the teams are set now. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're all yeah. set. But I mean, I don't know. It's just so random. It's true. And then I mean, well, they literally have no other options. Right. Well, yeah, that is that is true. So but I mean, and Mandy ends up beating Naomi again. <laughs> 
Like, we would have expected that Naomi was going to eventually get the upper hand, but maybe that'll come at the Elimination Chamber. Mm -mm. I mean... No. It... Well, neither team's going to win. So no, matter. no, no, no. I think the Iconics have a better chance of winning over. They, they do, but I, I Which mean, is funny. Raw is the heavier uh, well, favorites. They, they on... have the better <laughs> wrestlers. <laughs> I know. The top... Because right now, SmackDown has the two, mm -hmm. the three best women's wrestlers, but after that, it the... It's just such a dramatic drop off. Whereas Raw, you have you have Sasha, Bailey, mm -hmm. um, Ember, Natalia. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. So it's it's, it's more like, evenly weighted, I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, more yeah. towards the middle, where right. it's very drastic yeah. on SmackDown. And so, as I said, the show was not very good. Mm -hmm. It was the lowest viewed episode of the well, I guess the live era, mm -hmm. as it's been. Yeah. Um, and they kind of just went with the approach of it being more geared toward competition. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that is what sells. No, 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 no. And I mean, I've like I said, I've complained about this with Impact as well in my reviews, that it's just, seems like matches are just thrown out there. There's no consequences for losing or winning, and things just happen, and you're kind of like, well, why? That doesn't make sense to me. It's but true. um Because... Uh, I mean, granted, they were going up against the State of the Union address, but... Mm. Yeah. I don't think a lot of... WWE fans really care about that stuff. You wouldn't think. I mean, you know, I guess you have that small drop off. Well, what do they normally do? Two, two and a half? I don't think two so. Two and a quarter? That was low twos. Yeah, okay. So two and a quarter, and this dropped like 1.8. So, wow. I mean, yeah. that's bad. 200,000 people. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that, that I guess there is that margin for mm -hmm. error. But, I mean, again, like you said, most of the things were set up. This was yeah. completely inconsequential. Absolutely. This whole week, and I expect next week to do basically exactly the, same. the same. Yeah. Um, Which, again, was what we had. Well, when we talked about this months ago, them having problems building to the pay per views because of this. Yeah. And you wanted them to just have random matches. So, this is what we got. Well, but there's a difference because these are random matches. Or not. These aren't random They're matches. They're not random. But They're they matches just... that are going on, but for no reason. Yeah. I mean, like. Let's be honest. A lot of these matches were with the Elimination Chamber. Members. Um, yeah, competitors. They did, they did the same exact thing. I'm sure they've done it many times in between. Right. But the 2016 um, Money in the Bank, it was nothing oh, yeah. but um, Dean Ambrose, Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, Del Rio, and mm -hmm. Cesaro, I think. Yeah. Sheamus was there too, or no? I don't think Sheamus no. was in it. No. Um but it was just them doing stuff oh, together. Yeah. Oh, it was a triple threat right. match, uh, a tag team mm -hmm. match, singles match, right. blah, 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 with all the same five people just mm -hmm. in circles. It, so it's just it's how they do stuff. Well, they, the thing is that they built it here where Joe was the big strong guy mm -hmm. in the match. And how has Samoa Joe been booked? Poorly. <laughs> It, and it's funny because they're doing the same thing they do every time. They book him like a monster going into the pay per view, and then, and he, then just he gets comes up short. Yep. So oh, it's boy. just hilarious that they think that, or that that anybody could think that Joe is actually a credible threat mm -hmm. to win anything at this point. Yeah. So point, when absolutely. he does, or if he does, that it's going to be no one is ever going to like, yeah believe it's, it. It's going to be oh. They finally did it. Yeah. We completely missed, uh, you know. Oh, this you mean, years you mean ago. he shouldn't have won, came came up 3 years ago and, and won yeah, the title nothing. probably immediately and then been considered an actual right. threat. I mean, well, have they've him, done it with Finn and he's yeah, They could have had him do what Brock Lesnar does right. now yeah. and you know, have him on TV normally. And you don't have to pay that uh, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Oh, Whatever boy. Whatever amount you pay him. Um, and you have the same exact thing. And have Paul Heyman talk for him. He doesn't need it, but it would... Oh, yeah. no, he's he's too good on the microphone. But if you have Paul Heyman help, not saying he needs help, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, Paul Heyman isn't necessarily a crutch. He could be an enhancer. I guess that is true. So, but whatever ah. is what it is. We're being silly because it's never going to it's happen. It's true. It's true. Well, the... <laughs> The boat sailed on it anyway. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, no, it doesn't no, really absolutely. make a difference. Um, um, I guess... The Ryder and Kurt Hawkins are both losers. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I don't even know what the point of that was, to be perfectly honest. I know that Ryder was complaining about them spelling his name wrong. Yeah. But, I, I don't know. Whatever. Um, Angle comes out seemingly to... Retire? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then he gets interrupted by Corbin and oh, McIntyre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They go try to beat him up for some reason. Um, and then uh, Braun comes out. He fends both of them off. And then they make the match later. For later on tonight, yeah. yeah. It was the main ends up event. being the main event, yeah. So after, let's see. They, All right, so let's talk about this main event now. Well, actually, what I was going to say real quick. They had they they opened up with Ronda mm-hmm. and uh, facing Liv and Sarah, blah blah blah. Right. Um, and then they say that the the Royal Rumble thing with Seth was up next. Like, what in the world are they going to have as the main event? Oh, because yeah. it's not going to be a woman's segment. Mm-hmm. Because that match, I think they already said, wasn't going to be the tag match. There was no reason for that tag match to be um, a woman, uh, the main event. The one with Sasha and Bailey versus... No, I mean, granted, they, would, there, there was a stipulation involved. Yeah, but it was least. never going to be the main no, event. No, 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 no. Um, so I'm like, what in the world are they going to have as the main event? Yeah. And then they announced that this, match. I'm like, that's weird. Sense. And yeah. another Baron Corbin main event of Raw. There you go. There you go. So, that's how you bring the ratings... To an all-time high. Yep. Okay. So, apparently, I, I didn't watch this match because, again... You fell asleep. No, I, I rewatched uh, the parts that I missed on Hulu except for this because, again, I didn't care. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Because it didn't matter. Yeah. Um, so, it's interesting. So, you wrote in the notes, and this, I heard other people talking about this, that apparently... <laughs> so dumb. The illegal man got gets DQ'd for attacking the legal man, right? From the apron? Yeah. No. Or well, he was in the ring. Yeah. Braun oh, was he, in the ring. He punched somebody on the outside. All Is right. that what happened? So what happened was Braun comes into the ring. Uh Kurt is the legal man. Right. So is Corbin. And just uh Corbin starts oh, screaming, okay, You can't that. touch me, you mm-hmm. can't touch me. I'm you're not the legal man. I at this time I thought Drew was the legal man, but I could have just been <laughs> I could have just been mistaken. And then Braun pushes him, mm-hmm. and then the referee decues him. So I was listening to the Fightful's podcast earlier. Uh-huh. Apparently, they reached out to talent, and this is actually a rule. But it, it is was a never rule. Enforced. It's never enforced. Yep, but now, but now that's it is. the that's the whole purpose of having a legal man. <laughs> but at the same time, you have tag team matches where you literally have people. A double team them for 10 minutes well, for no reason and the ref and, doesn't do anything about all right so let's move over to smackdown for a second while we're on this and the dqs and whatnot okay how many times does randy orton drop an opponent on a announce table and he doesn't get yeah DQ'd? that's technically an attack yeah. with a with a foreign object which um, since you didn't see any of smackdown mustafa ali has eyes were like swollen because i don't know if he got kicked in the face by orton or uh-huh. not but yeah it uh, it did not look very pretty. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he's dealing with a lower or tailbone injury. So, so and he flipping. was out there doing bumps like so that, normal. He so wouldn't that have flippy any, shit. Uh, thing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so that was uh, that was that. Mm-hmm. We saw Jeff Jarrett return in the ring uh, twenty that, years but, later. A lot more appropriately attired this time. Yes, he was more uh, in his well, I guess his mid nineties gimmick to. WCW, he wore the same shit. Yeah. I think he even wore it in TNA, too. Probably. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. It's just a t-shirt and trunks. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Wow, the t-shirt was uh, necessary at this point in his life. He's, what, 51? It's true. Um, Old man. Yeah, so he faced Elias. Yeah, that wasn't bad. No, it uh, wasn't bad for what it was. Before I mean, the match, Road Dog came out and did his thing. That was pretty funny. Yeah. And then they played that song again. They I did? I don't really like that. That That's not good. <laughs> Um, I got no problem with the two of them. Like, I like Road Dog, so I don't really care about the two mm-hmm. of them being together. It's True. just don't... And the funny... Th- the best part is, besides the fact that Renee didn't have a clue what the words yeah. were last week, mm-hmm. um, that Road Dog goes, oh, I remember the words this time. <laughs> and it doesn't, like, think it. He says it into mm-hmm. the microphone. Yep. So... And it was funny because he... Like, everything about his act was not PG. <laughs> no, no. He did suck it. <laughs> He did. He um, said he you know, did his doggy style thing. Yeah. Um, He's just, Daddy, what is doggy style? Yeah. So, you know, whatever. Nostalgia, oh, I guess. Boy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. I, I loved it. I, I yeah. You know, I was like, damn, man, uh, he, he still looks pretty good for looking terrible. Yeah, I think at this point they put on the 
blinders to the DX stuff. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, and I thought about this, or I didn't think about it. I heard somebody mention this as well: is that Elias is supposed to be the heel in this segment? Uh-huh. They're supposed to be the faces. Oh, they're, they're attacking them. them apart. Well, not even that, but they're outside after interference. Yep. Yeah, and then the faces end up standing tall after the match, and it's like this. That's that's not how these things work. No, but I think at this point it's more of a nostalgia yeah. slash. Oh, trying no, absolutely. Get, trying to get Jarrett some so, credibility or whatever. Apparently, there was rumors recently that, I guess, Elias wasn't as... I guess they used the words charismatic, as they had hoped or they expected him to go further than he is. Every feud that he's been in, it's been stops, start, stop, start, and pulling back, mm. throwing him with Baron Corbin. It, it feels it, like his feuds are, um, like... They never go anywhere. Stop gaps. Yeah. Like, they're meant to kill time for something else, and mm-hmm. then the next one is and the things, same thing. He lost to, what, Corbin two weeks in a row? Mm-hmm. Has he won a feud? Probably not. Oh. So, just, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, like the I, booking I is all to blame on that, Yeah, right I was going to say, I don't think anybody can really blame Elias for anything that yeah. he's doing. If anything, he's gotten himself over better than anybody expected. Mm-hmm. So, But then we turn him heel. <laughs> no, that's fine. He really is a heel, naturally. Because you can cheer heels. Anyway. Yeah, I guess that's matter. true. He's probably, yeah. He's better off being able to run down the the town he's in. Right. He kind of does it. The anyway. thing is, I think um, Callis has said this. He made this criticism about Eli Drake being too good of a heel because mm-hmm. he's so good and he makes the faces look bad. And your whole point is to make the faces look good. Mm-hmm. And I think Elias does that being a heel as well. What that he makes the faces look bad? Yeah, because he does his role too well. Is well, it, it's an interesting theory. I but. guess. I don't know. What, he faced Bobby Lashley and Baron Corbin? No, oh, yeah. Two people that are not good people that go against I guess anyone. that's true. So. I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, well, I, we did mention earlier about all the teams for Elimination Chambers, women tag team mm-hmm. match are all final. Uh, Bailey and Sasha won over... Uh, Alicia Fox and Nikki Cross. Yeah. A team that actually kind of does make sense. It did. Because they're both crazy. They are. So. Um, and, you know, you can throw them. You know, we know they're not going to do anything with either of them. No. Nothing properly, anyway. No, no. Nikki no. Cross was a character set up for NXT and things like that and on the main roster. I don't see them doing it. It doesn't make a whole well. lot of sense mm-hmm. what they're doing with her. No, no. Because she's but, just a crazy person. Yeah. But they her got a team with Alicia Fox would be good. Yeah. They got two crazy people mm-hmm. on, uh, on Raw now. Yeah. They have her and they have Mojo. Well, we don't even know if she's no on Raw anyway. Well, I guess that's true. Uh, but yeah, we don't know what's going on with Mojo either because he's kind of just talking to himself in a mirror. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Maybe they're um, going to put the uh, Dean Ambrose uh, lunatic character on him. Lunatic fringe? Yeah. He's hype? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. So, Oh, and anyway, before the, the tag team match, Alicia Fox and um, uh, Nikki Cross attack Sasha and Bailey. Right. Um, I guess Sasha gets the worst of it, so Bailey does like ninety percent of the match by herself. Oh yeah, so apparently Sasha is not cleared to wrestle. <laughs> That's what I heard. Yeah, it kind of makes sense because Which, she just came out, laid out. It's not like she came out and got beat yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is funny because what is this going to be? A, I mean, I'm not blaming it on her, but it seems like everyone that gets in the ring with uh, Ronda ends up getting hurt. I don't think there's really. It was the last time she wrestled, right? While that is true, Sasha gets hurt a lot. It's, it is true. So it's not like well, it's someone who never gets hurt. I guess and, that's true. And I mean, Alexa, I guess that was just maybe... That was a freak accident. Yeah, I guess. Probably. But I thought it happened multiple times. What, Alexa? Yeah. No, it was one injury. They just, I thought she got hurt They pulled it back. And then on a house show, she ended up getting concussed in a match against no, I, th- her. I think that they... They were going to clear her, and then they, then they chose not back. to. Yeah. Gotcha. Because they were, like, getting her ready. Or or they never planned on having her wrestle, wrestle at Revolution possible. to begin with. That's possible yeah, as possible. well. Um, and, well, since we're on Alexa, uh-huh. let's talk about probably the best segment of the night. It's true. It was very good. Which is kind of sad when you think about it. I don't know. I was thoroughly entertained throughout the whole thing. I think everybody played a good part in this. Oh, no, this. It's, it's true, but the fact that this was the most entertaining part is the sad part. I guess, but this is the entertainment, you know? I mm-hmm. mean, that's yeah. what should be the entertaining part, which, true. which ended up leading to a match. So yeah. they did do something right. Mm-hmm. 
Um, all right. So, go ahead. Oh, all right. I'll take it. So we had a moment of bliss mm-hmm. where Alexa, I guess, she is now a face, which seems to make sense. I think that's the role they're putting her in. I guess. It's yeah. hard to tell. It doesn't There's matter. There's no reason for her to be on either side. Yeah, I guess she could Certainly not be right a, now. A tweener, yeah. I guess, so to speak. Mm-hmm. But um, her guest was EC3. Yeah. Um, which he got a decent pop when he came out. Um, before even getting any questions underway, Nia Jax comes up and it comes out and interrupts. Yeah. Um, and then what did she say? She every the, the spotlight should be on her because of every you know she was in the men's Royal Rumble and then she her and Tamina qualified for the women's elimination chamber, and then Dean Ambrose comes out and uh, he says that, that Nia's got a crush on him. Yep. Right. And because of his what raw, raw sex sexuality. <laughs> raw sexuality. Yes. She can't resist them. Yeah. I. I think they must mute uh, Renee's. Uh, oh, I heard her start laughing yeah. on, when I was watching this part on Hulu. Yeah, you could hear her start laughing. Um, but then she, he's like, you know, he doesn't want to be out here. You don't want to be out here. I'm going to conduct the interview with uh, EC3. So yeah. they keep playing. Uh, like he first he says that he's like, you've been lurking around here. What are you a weird mute or something like that? <laughs> yeah. And then so every time EC3 went to answer a question, he'd pull it back yep. or something like that. Yeah, well, so for some reason, it. they don't want him to talk. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> um, Dean asks him what happened to EC's one and two. <laughs> that was hilarious. Tell me that thing I sent you wasn't fantastic. With Hornswoggle? Well, yeah, because I think it was, was it kayfabe news, I think it was. That I don't I remember what you. the I, thing was. I think it was. But it was, it was like Dixie they... Carter and EC3. Uh, not EC3. Dixie Carter and Vince McMahon had an affair, and EC3 was the son. And Hornswoggle and EC3 were what, half or half brothers or yeah. whatever the hell of the thing Ridiculous. the situation was. Although yeah. Hornswoggle apparently is around, so hey, he's got he's got. A, oh, remember when Tommy Dreamer tweeted about his House of Hardcore bookings? <laughs> he's gonna want more money now. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so yeah, this made Dean versus EC3. Yes. EC3 picks up the victory and in the process says things while he's wrestling. <laughs> That's the annoying part. Uh, like, yeah, it's not on a microphone, but still. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, he gets a jackknife cover, kind of fluke victory, obviously. Yeah. So I guess they're probably going to go with a feud here, maybe. Uh, or is it just alleged- going to be a one-off? Allegedly, it was supposed to be Dean versus EC3 at WrestleMania this year. Oh. So. Okay. If Dean does, in fact, have a WrestleMania match, it could be Right, because his contract's up the end of April, yes. right? Yeah. He's He's... Ske- or he's contractually obligated mm-hmm. to um, at least yeah. be available until after I WrestleMania. Mean, and, you know, WWE normally probably would have just said, all right, you're done, we're, we're keeping you off TV, but at this point you might as well utilize them because everybody else is hurt it's true they have very they don't really have a whole lot of stuff going no, on and they and i mean i guess you would have had somebody new in lars sullivan to bring up and put him in but, but god he, knows what's going on with that situation yeah so, you know, reports that he didn't show up he had anxiety attacks and yeah. all of a sudden it's just like he's not in nxt there's well no i don't think what's that going made on. any sense to have him in it no but you, you know if you know the you could always utilize them down there, I'm sure, in some fashion. That's true. I don't know. But who knows? It's true. Weird stuff. Yeah. But uh, and then I think the last thing that happened on Raw... Well, ooh. Balor versus the Leo Rush. Yeah. Or Lashley it was supposed ended up getting, to be Lashley. Right. And then it became Leo. Mm-hmm. A preview of Finn Balor on 205 Live. It's true. <laughs> It's only a matter of time. It was, it was a report somebody had posted about that, and Ed calls me up today. He's like, "You're really putting a, a Balor on 205 Live?" I was like, "Shut up!" <laughs> Such an idiot. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised down the road if it ends up happening. But yeah. uh, the problem is, is that all your guys you're bringing up from NXT can uh, be used on 205 Live. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be an interesting landscape. And I well, mean, obviously I like... they're not afraid to move them over from 205 Live. No, no. They're... But I mean, you can tell everything's just changed drastically from you know being larger than life characters to what we grew up with with old guys you know over six foot 250 pounds to now guys that look like you and me working a retail job during the day that can be a wrestler at night it's you know i mean mustafa the daniel bryan is uh is that 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 era is what we're in yeah finn balor Mm -hmm. and then it's a lot of guys it's true andrade ray 
Well, Seth really, really isn't that big. No. Neither is the Dean's kind of tall. Yeah, yeah. He's he, he's not he, a big. He would have been. Guy. He would have been fine. Dean Dean two years ago mm. fits our description a little yeah. better than it does now. It's true. Um, but uh, but yeah, no. Lashley ended up getting thrown out. Mm-hmm. And Finn ends up going over. It's amazing that the former Universal Champion beat a guy on 205 Live. I know. Um, so, yeah, I, I would assume we're going to get this match at Elimination Chamber mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Not announced yet. Probably happen next week. Yeah, because Finn said that he wanted his title, and Bobby Lashley said he'll get a match if he get if he's impressed by him mm-hmm. facing Leo Rush. So. You know, the, the way the Raw Tag Team Championships are going right now, I could see them doing, like, a battle royal for the tit- titles at WrestleMania on the pre-show. <laughs> Maybe. It's possible. Some stupid. Yeah. Certainly nothing that makes sense right now. <sighs> I, I, like, I can't imagine. Or know. it could just be the Revival versus Heavy Machinery on oh, yeah, the pre-show. That'll, uh, something. It doesn't matter if it's on the no, pre-show. No, no, it doesn't. But so. it just doesn't seem like it's, anything caliber. It's you know? no The Bar versus Braun Strowman and Nicholas. That is true. And that was not on the pre-show. It was not. No. It was was on the main card. Which is funny because I heard uh, just people talking about it and they're like, Braun Strowman wrestled with a nine-year-old last year. He could be even lower on the card this year. (laughs) It's true. Uh, Which I kind of expected Angle and Strowman versus Corbin and McIntyre to possibly happen or something like that. It still still could, could, yeah, Yeah. because this this got thrown out. Yeah, there's no reason why that can't happen. No, not really. Um, SmackDown. I mean, we talked a a lot about SmackDown. We did. I I mean, the club was facing Nakamura and Rusev this week. I don't know why this match Um, happened. So the club looked like they were on their way to victory. Shinsuke Which is how was, most of their matches go. Shinsuke was dead on the outside, and Rusev was down in the ring, and mm. Lana starts taking off her shoe and yelling at Shinsuke to get back in there. And then Shinsuke got in, because they were setting up uh, for a magic killer. I think Shinsuke interrupted it, and then Rusev hit Carl Anderson with a machka kick. Uh, the Eater of Pins? The Eater of Pins, yes. yes. That makes the sense. The Eater of Pins, that's uh, what we did call him. <laughs> well, no, that's what we called Bray. Oh yeah, yeah, instead of the yeah, 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 right, right. we just we just said that Carl Anderson always gets pinned. He did, he um, does. So this was all building for the elimination chamber match. That was all the show was. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of the the six men which, that's in it, which right? I get because it is the WWE Championship match. But yeah, there are the other parts. Thing. I mean, you, your U.S. champion wasn't even on the show. Your tag team champions weren't on the show. Your woman's champion wasn't on the show. It's true, yeah, because it's Oscar. Yeah, like, we don't have a match set for her going into Elimination Chamber. Probably not going to be a match. Yeah, it's going to be Charlotte. You think? Why not? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's possible. There's no reason not to. That's true. Because, yeah. Or they're going to do, like, some random women's battle royal next week for the number one contender to face Oscar at Elimination Chamber. I don't know if they're going to do that just based on the fact that six of your... 10 wrestlers. Oh, yeah, we're in that. That's true. Yeah. Um, Raw, I could see them possibly going with Ruby versus Ronda. No, it's going to be yeah. Ruby versus yeah. Ronda because of what, what took place, which Raw. was fine. Yeah, because Ruby's like, I'm not facing Ronda unless it's for the championship. Yeah, because Ronda beat Liv very quickly, and then she faced Sarah Logan, which was Even a little faster. longer. No, no, no it was. I, I could have swore it was the other way around. No, no, no. no. I, that match went on for a little while because uh, Sarah had gotten some offense in oh, okay. on uh, um, Ronda, and then, yeah, then she challenges uh, Ruby. Ruby and yeah. Ruby's like, yeah, there no. was that awkward moment when she was like, "Come on, somebody do something!" Ronda, when she was in the ring, and then they're like, hey. uh, and then she was are, like are, challenging the crowd and stuff like that. What are we supposed like to do? Yeah, it's just so weird. But yeah, that that that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we else? had Orton versus Ali. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess Orton, Orton won. won with an RKO. Uh, Ali was going for the inverted 450, but Orton grabbed his leg and pulled him off of the top rope, hitting mm-hmm. an RKO. Then Joe came out and chokes out Orton. Um, Jeff Hardy faced Daniel Bryan in the main event. Oh, he did? Yes. Mm. Um, yeah, Jeff ends up winning by DQ. I think uh, Rowan threw Jeff Hardy into the steps. And then we had the usual brawl of all the competitors for the elimination Um, everybody came out yeah it's so weird it's like i know they've been doing it forever i know the concept is so odd the problem is and because the way they have everything set up is that 
you have your pay-per-views at certain times of the year, so you it's not like things organically happen. We're like, all right, this feud has gone this far. Let's put these guys in Hell in a Cell. It's yeah. like, oh, no, Hell in a Cell is coming up next. So, so let's... that means that's what we're doing. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. And that gets kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of boring. Uh, unoriginal. Yeah, I guess sure. that's, yeah. Um, but like this, the Elimination Chamber, like generally they always have at least one good match because, you know, the whoever wins the Rumble, that sets the, one brand the and men's the other one. brand. They were both good last year. Yeah. Now I think yeah, about yeah. it. Because that was the first woman's, right? Yeah. Yeah. They were both good last year. This year, maybe not so much. Yeah, the men's one was uh, when Braun destroyed everybody and then Roman ended up mm-hmm. winning. <laughs> yeah, this tag team one might be a bit of a mess. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know if any of it's worth bringing up. Nothing. No, no, yeah. no, not much, really. Yeah, it's all it's all promos going back and forth with people in the. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody looks particularly good. No. I guess they're trying to book Joe strong. Yeah, that's better. what it seemed like. He seemed to get a lot of a decent amount of airtime. But um, again, we talked about he ain't going anywhere. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really seem like Dan and Brian really needs to keep the title because there's no obvious competitor for him. Yeah. There's no obvious but, WrestleMania match, period, on SmackDown. Yeah, that is true. Because we don't know what's Unless going on in the women's division. Unless they end up division. adding a, uh, another person into his little group. That's possible. Yeah. But I don't it think... Comes he, up from underneath the ring. Yeah. I guess since oh. they made the new title, it would make sense for him to keep it, though. Is this match going to main event the uh, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view? Has to, right? It might. It or they're going to put the women tag ones because it, it, it's a no, no girl. Yeah, that might happen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess it would. It, it'd, it'd be the first, the first time, time right? in a dual-branded pay-per-view where the WWE Championship will main event. But that being said, that probably means it won't. <laughs> it's right? a fair point. That makes sense I to can't me. argue with that. Um. Yeah, I, I guess. Right. I, There's yeah. no other match that would. No. So. No. Yeah. Okay. It so um, it we've should. run through both shows. Oh, oh unless oh, oh. they have our truth versus Shinsuke and Rusev, and that'll yeah. main event. And a triple threat. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. a handicap. You'll match see people wins. leaving at like nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll turn on the pay per view and it'll be opening with the men's the championship match mm-hmm. the and then everybody right? leaves. <laughs> oh, hey, boy. at least they got their ticket sales. So that's yeah, really all that matters, that's all right? That matters, right? Why yeah. do they care how long people watch on the network? Yeah. They got their money already. Yeah, exactly. You're subscribed anyway. It's true. Yeah. Um, um, so we got some interesting news. Tomorrow is the AEW rally. I believe it's Thursday night. Mm-hmm. They're doing it with uh, apparently with new signings and i guess ticket information for double or nothing um but it seems like there are more targets in wwe people's contracts coming up the usos apparently rumored to have their contract coming to an end probably i'd assume around the same time as dean's yeah Um, probably so i would imagine a lot of their contracts are wrestlemania based when you think about it, a lot of the tag teams seem like they're the frustrated ones in the company. Well, it's because and, of how poorly they've been booked. And if AEW is backed by, you know, one of the most well-known tag teams on the independents, so... And a team that have been on, a like, a Twitter feud with one of the teams from yes. the WWE. Yes, so. with the Revival. Yeah. So um, that could be interesting yeah. within itself. Yeah, which I was listening to something, and uh, apparently... Um, Luke Gallows has uh, trademarked the name Big Big LG or whatever what he had on his uh, ring gear last night. Oh. So I don't know if that's, you know, something to it's an think omen. about. Well, it was like they e- never EC3 have left did that what, before he left Impact. He trademarked his name. Well, AJ owns AJ Styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, I'm just saying that yeah. was a telling sign that he was like, all right. He's, he's leaving? Yeah, he's leaving. Because if he went to WWE, they would have been like, all right, nope, we're changing your name. Um... I don't think they would have changed his name. I think they were happy that he he, kept it. He was what? uh, He was in NXT years and years ago, right? Yeah, as... Something Bateman, right? Derek Bateman? Yeah, I think that was his name. But they have no obligation to keep that name. Right, but it's like Drew McIntyre. He was Drew Galloway on the Independence. He came back and he was Drew McIntyre again. But he was on the main roster, Same thing with Cassius Ono. That's true. Um, Which apparently he's leaving, too. I don't know. He left during a taping, I heard. He's old. Oh, he is. He's the, the de facto dad of yeah. NXT. 
Um, but I, I, I think that once a star gets to a certain point, because the EC3 in NXT was nothing. No. But he was groomed for... He was a main roster character. That's that doesn't just, matter. Though. No, no, no. But, yeah. but he had no um, no notoriety. Mm-hmm. Cassie Sono, established indie star, relatively big name in NXT. Yeah. He comes back. People are going to see, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, that's, I guess this that's person. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all of a sudden, true. you're calling him a different name. I know they used to do that all the time. Mm. But... I think for and he probably had some say in the matter as well. Possible. Um, Samoa Joe, they didn't have to keep him. Samoa Joe, Mm-mm. AJ, they didn't want didn't to want keep him. him. AJ, yeah, yeah. Um, which would have been the stupidest thing. Oh he could yeah, have done. yeah, yeah, yeah. Buried but, him even more than having well, Roman's face on the screen when uh, he made his debut. debut. Yeah. Well, it was like when people would leave WWE and go to TNA, and they'd be like, you know. It's a totally different name. In fact, who the hell is this guy? Yeah. Well, Christian was Christian Cage. Cage yeah. Our truth was Ron Killings. Yeah. On the uh, truth. Yeah. And then uh, Road Dog was BG James. They had Goldust was that weird. Oh, yeah. That, that the hell is his name? The Black Sin. Not makeup. Sin. Uh, I forget what his name was. Doesn't, but yeah, 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 it doesn't matter. Yep. But yeah, yeah, that's the thing. And Booker then, T was still Booker T, right? He was. So. Uh, and then there were rumors about apparently randy orton listening to aew offers however we think just randy orton's the complete troll and oh, absolutely do whatever he could but yeah. he's a guy that he, probably loves money and, i was gonna say if you're willing to pay me i'll listen yeah, yeah. i don't really care about what you have to say you but, know yeah. orton doesn't care about wrestling yeah <laughs> it's true he just goes out there and does his thing mm-hmm. and that's it so. runs through the motions every week well when he's on tv it's true very similar to Brock Lesnar. Yeah, kind of. So, but, but whatever. That was that. Let's hope uh, next week's a little more exciting. It won't be. Yeah, yeah definitely won't be. I can hope. Be. You can um, hope. You did can you watch hope. Halftime Heat? No. No. Oh, it was a good chance. match. I, I'm going to watch it eventually. It's on YouTube. They put it up a couple hours ago. It had over 100,000 views already. So. Wow, that's yeah. good. Yeah. How long was it? Uh, probably like 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I figured it wouldn't be too long. Mm-mm. Not as... It not was... As, uh, Everybody get your shit in, basically. Well, it wasn't as violent get as all the, last the shit time. in. No. Okay, that's good. Yeah. But but no, it was entertaining. They did a good job with the match. I enjoyed it. Cool. It was probably better than Maroon Five. I heard there was something that happened during the the the, the uh whatever, whatever the halftime show. Like that was weird. What, during this in the Super Bowl? Yeah. The actual one? Yeah. I have no idea. Didn't watch it. I didn't either. I wasn't even you. home, so ah. Fair enough. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I supposedly something happened. Mm. I don't know. Did you work? Yeah, I was working. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. So that makes sense then. Yeah. All right. On that note, we're done. Yep. Mm-hmm. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.